You guys, I'm a big fan, big fan Thank of the show. Me. So sad to see that it's ending. How do you feel about that? I mean, critics have been raving about the series finale. What has been the take of fans? You want to even Well, you know, the, go. the good news about about uh, what, what we do, since people can recognize us and know that we're on the show, if they have something bad to say about the show, <laughs> they don't talk when we're around. They, we only hear the good stuff. So we're in a little bit of a bubble. You need to have anonymity to hear what they really think, mm -hmm. you know? I'm tell there's really nothing bad to say. Well, that's nice. If there was something that you would do have done differently, what would it have been? Never shot the last scene so it wouldn't be over? Oh, wow. okay. Well, that can lead to my next question. Could there be an Ozark movie? Maybe a spin-off? Would we be open to that? Maybe a Ruth Langmore story? I mean, I uh, I don't know. I maybe. I guess. I can't. I don't want to. In be, case if somebody hasn't seen the end of this, I don't want to reveal. Right. It could be. No. It could be a. Well. Okay. I don't want to say yeah. that. Because <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> We're just like Shh. I'm too into it. Yeah. Um, but I think uh, we would both obviously love to do any amount of work with all of those people that we worked so pleasantly with for so long I mean it's that's the stuff you never want to end so yeah this or any other name uh, we just we love all the folks what will you miss the most most about playing Ruth oh my, I mean just everything is that if I can't even describe that question because it's just her as a person it's just so much fun and layered and um, but the, I think the thing that I'll miss the most and I and maybe this isn't the question uh, but I but I'll miss sh shooting this project the most I mean we were just saying back there that we have like an Ozark standard and that's just unrealistic because this job was just so incredible will you miss the language that Ruth used. Did you maybe take any of that with you? I feel like I relate to Ruth when it comes to that, to be honest. Yeah, but there's, you know, Ruth isn't the only one with, with the sailor mouth. She know? does it the best. She does. I mean, it's the accent. That's what it is, you know? <laughs> um, what can we assume, well, let me back that question up. Not that this ending was like The Sopranos in any way, but it left it open to interpretation, which so did The Sopranos ending, which I thought was very brilliant. Um, can we assume that Wendy, Marty, and the family lived happily ever after? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, they're going to get going back up to Chicago to continue their plan of hopefully the ends justifying the means. I don't, I don't know if they get successful with that up in Chicago uh, or not. Um, my sense is that they'd probably continue to stumble because they, um, they think they're a little bit smarter than they are, um, and those people don't fare too well. What will you miss the most about playing Marty? Uh, being able to kind of be the calm in the storm and watching all of the incredible acting around him and stories around him that he has to kind of always react to. I always like being kind of that, that proxy for the audience, you know, the, the, the person through which the audience kind of experiences all the nonsense. Um, I, I like playing those characters and, and Marty was a great version of that, I think. I think... People fell in love with both of your characters for different reasons, but what I will say about Ruth's character is that she seemed to be the moral center. How would you describe that? It's yes, so funny. yes, I do. I, I do. Yeah, I, it's so weird when people. I'm like, she killed her uncles. Like, okay. like what is morally right about that? But you know, I think it's. I think Ruth has this childlike quality mm -hmm. and I think people can see that and identify with that because everybody has been a child at one point or another obviously but um, yeah I don't I, I I think yeah I think just um, how also vulnerable she is mm -hmm. deep down in a way um, yeah in my defense for asking that question, <laughs> I just will say that nothing that she does seems to be malicious. There's an intention well, behind it. <laughs> and so there's it's well thought out, even if it is well, taking out her uncle. Yeah, you never wanna you never wanna judge your characters that you play. That's mm -hmm. the rule number one. And then when you judge them that you're not gonna get that outcome in a, in a way. So yeah. that's that's the number one thing. 
And, and kind of a similar question for Marty Bird. I mean, despite everything that he was doing, you still find yourself rooting for him and the family. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, well, hopefully it's because you see that he's trying to do the right thing, but he's got um, a very limited set of options. And so he's trying to pick the, the, the best of the worst mm -hmm. and with the goal of having it be for the betterment of the family. Um, so, uh, you know, it's, it's thin justification, but uh, justification nonetheless, yeah. And what will, are you satisfied with the way that Ruth's story ends in this series? Yeah, I think it ended beautifully. Um, you know, and when Chris told me that, I, I thought it was the perfect ending because it's the most activating ending in a way. And I feel like all great art is, you want to get activated, yeah. whether it's good or bad. So, yeah, I loved it. When you started Ozark, to see where it is now, you know, I know it's ended, but to see what it became to when you started, did you ever imagine that people would be so drawn and captivated by the Bird family and everything that this show has to bring? Well, I hoped, we all hoped, um, and we knew that we had a kind of narrow target because of the things that these characters would be doing. Um, we would hope that we'd be able to get away with doing these things without repelling an audience. Um, there was a way in which I wanted it shot and, and, and scored and performed and written and all of those things were all real ambitious narrow targets for all of us to try to accomplish and I just I could not be happier for everyone who did what they did on the show because I think we all got fairly close to the target we, we dared to try to get to for one another and hopefully you know the audience really liked it too but internally there was this this target and um, and and we knew it was going to kind of be difficult and it would take all of us kind of trying to make the same show so I'm really proud that we got that done and got it done and did, didn't have a fall apart over four years you know yeah. the longer you go the easier it is to screw it up was it always supposed to end after this many seasons, or could you have kept going? We didn't really predetermine anything. We just knew that, uh, you know, you don't want to overstay your welcome, A. B, there was a, 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 a story that uh, Chris Mundy, our, our, our writer, our showrunner, wanted to tell. And, you know, you never really know what the pitch of the arc is, of, of the escalations of the stories, and when are you going to crest that hill, and if you keep going, you're going to jump the shark. So he, I think, paced it out perfectly to end at 14 episodes in this final season as opposed to the usual 10 that we were going to do. Yeah. Um, so uh, I, think it, I think it worked out. It was really fun to see the speculation of what people thought with the crash. A lot of people thought that was a dream. Did you right. see that? Did you, did you see that people thought that? No. Okay. No, no. Okay. Oh, all right. Um, okay. <laughs> now that Ozark. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now I'm a super fan. Now that Ozark is done, what's next? What's next for you both? I just wrapped a movie. So, but yeah. What's next for you, Jason? Uh, I'm working on something right now as an actor and then, you know, other stuff is all in various forms of, you know, uh, preparation and development and, you know, we'll see. You never know if you're, what you're doing next till you're actually rolling cameras. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.